Hey, 5-Minute Church, this is Pastors John and Hannah. We're coming to you live for another edition of Midweek Minutes. Midweek Minutes, hope you guys are having an awesome Christmas season. It is a Christmas season, and we like to say Merry Christmas, not yes. Happy Holiday, because we are celebrating Christ's birth. The cool guy at uh, Sam's Club said, though, no, it's it's Jesus' birthday. He did. He just straight out called us out after we said Merry Christmas. I so it. I thought that was... So favorite uh, Christmas carol? Um, what child is this? Because I played the first song on my guitar like when I was in eighth grade. Not Jingle Bells or Oh Holy Night? No, that's the only one I could play, like three chords. <laughs> okay. Uh, favorite Christmas cookie? Um, the one with the little Hershey Kiss on it. And I used to just eat is? the Hershey Kiss one. I don't, I don't even know, know what those are called. I just ate them all. My mom used to get mad. What, what's your favorite? I just like a plain, simple sugar cookie um, with the great icing. I'm really kind of plain and boring, but I do... Let me do that one more time, I'm sorry. I'm still talking about it in the frame. <laughs> I really like a sugar cookie. Um, I'm super plain and kind of boring, but just like a nice vanilla frosting with the plain sugar cookie. I also love seas fudge. Our family makes, um, for our tradition, every year we make seas fudge. It's and so. Now. I love it, and I don't like fudge. I only like our fudge, so I'm very particular. Favorite carol? I said um, Jingle Bells. Oh, you said Jingle Bells? <laughs> I was so I don't even know. what child is this? <laughs> <laughs> but cards are pouring in the mail. Hopefully you guys are getting cards, uh, and it's that time of year. We're talking about giving, because that's what's on everyone's mind. I'm trying to figure out what to get you. You're trying to forget what to get me, kids, all that stuff, and what to get your parents and your neighbors and the mailman. Um, but we're gonna talk about giving a different light today. We are, and I mean, you can set all of that aside of who you're gonna shop for, and um, I really like to talk about the heart of giving. Um, you know, the heart of giving is giving, and it's not just giving to people that you can give to or people that you've given to before. We're talking about giving that things, maybe you don't have that to give, or um, maybe you go out of your way and, and do something for somebody you've never done something before, because I really believe it's not just Christmas season yeah. that we should be doing or talking about giving. It's all years, all the time. Yeah, I think giving needs to be a lifestyle, not an event. Christmas is an event of giving, which is great, and that's what it's all intended for. But giving has to be part of your lifestyle. It has to be part of looking outside yourself and saying, what can I do? What can I give? And I know we're always saying that, and we always pick somebody like every year, that like a family or somebody we want to bless, and, and maybe somebody different that we've never given or, or blessed before. And I've been humbled just even just this last week, we did an interview with um, this guy named Ray Jennings and you guys will be seeing his interview come up on Five Minute Church. And um, this man was wrongfully accused of a murder that he did not do and he spent 11 years in prison and has just been released from prison this last June. So this is his first Christmas outside of the sale that he lost all the time with his family and um, Christmas for me is like the gift of perspective you know because everybody has a story but um, a challenge like that I was just so humbled and honored to even and to have this interview with him. I think there's a couple of ways that we can kind of look at giving as being a lifestyle and not event. I think one of the things is is a find something you've never given to, to before and then number two I think um, give something other than a gift Give something on yourself, your time, your talents. Yeah, we've talked about this last year, and, and there's ways of giving that either of your time and your talents. You can give so many things, even if you don't have the money or you don't have extra to give, there's always something that you can do for somebody else. And um, even if it's just a smile to somebody that might you might need to brighten their day. You know, there's so many things that we can do. And so we want to encourage you this Christmas season to get out of our own way. We want to get out of our own way and um, help others, give to others, pray about this. I believe God will put somebody on your heart yeah. and um, somebody very specific that he wants you to touch this Christmas season. Second Corinthians 9, 7 says, each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And actually, the original language means a hilarious giver, that we're supposed to do it hilariously. Um, that means gag gifts and all those yeah, great things maybe, together. Maybe so, <laughs> which we've done plenty of those. We do do that. I wrapped up liver for my sister one year. It was pretty crazy. Um, no, but we're supposed to give so cheerfully that, that it's it's not out of out of necessity. Sometimes you feel forced to give or, or all that kind of stuff. It's out of just your heart, and it's joyful, and it's way better to give than receive. It's so true, and coming from the heart, I think it means so much more. And people know when a gift is coming from a heart, too. You know, they can be so thoughtful. It could not necessarily be the most expensive gift, but there's so much thought and time put into that gift to somebody. So we love you guys at Five Minute Church. Um, we are talking about giving, and um, 
tell us your stories about giving. We, we love to hear your feedback and um, prayer requests. Please. Prayer requests. We prayer have been getting requests. lots of prayer requests during this holiday season. We want to send a very special prayer out to each and every single one of you during this Christmas season. Um, sometimes this can be a tough time for people that this isn't a joyous time. Um, we are celebrating Christmas without my brother this year for the first time. And, um, it can be very challenging. Christmas can be, it can be really hard for others too. So we're hoping that somebody will bless you if you're that person. We're hoping that God will put somebody in your life and bless you specifically this Christmas. And if you guys feel led, please um, consider giving to Five Minute Church. We 100% of what, what is given goes right back to helping people and, and keeping the app free of uh, banners and all that kind of stuff that we do. So please think about us and your giving as well um, because it's, it's people like you that help us uh, do what we're doing. So God bless you guys. Go in peace. Have an awesome week and a merry, merry Christmas. We love you. Merry Christmas.